Today, I wish to honor husbands, fathers, brothers, sons, and uncles who know who they are and who are doing their best to fulfill their God-given roles as described in the Family Proclamation, including righteously presiding and providing for and protecting their families. I am convinced that a husband is never more attractive to his wife than when he is serving in his God-given roles as a worthy priesthood holder, most importantly in the home. I love and believe these words from President Packer to worthy husbands and fathers, quote, You have the power of the priesthood directly from the Lord to protect your home. There will be times that all that stands as a shield between your family and the adversary's mischief will be that power." Close quote. President Ezra Taft Benson said, quote, Remember your sacred calling as a father in Israel, your most important calling in time and eternity. You must help create a home where the Spirit of the Lord can abide. Brothers and sisters, we need each other. As covenant-keeping women and men, we need to lift each other and help each other become the people the Lord would have us become. How often do we intentionally speak kind words to each other? We might test ourselves by asking a few questions. When was the last time I sincerely praised my companion, either alone or in the presence of our children? When was the last time I thanked, expressed love for, or earnestly pled in faith for him or her in prayer? When was the last time I stopped myself from saying something I knew could be hurtful? When was the last time I apologized and humbly asked for forgiveness without adding the words, but if only you had, or but if only you hadn't? When was the last time I chose to be happy? rather than demanding to be right. Our two hands are similar to each other, but not exactly the same. In fact, they are exact opposites, but they complement each other and are suited to each other. Working together, they are stronger. I pray we will put our trust in Him to help us help each other live happily and eternally as we ascend together. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.